Hello everyone, this is Kelly Mara here. Today, we are going to be talking about a topic that to me personally is a very serious and very difficult one to go about. In case you weren't aware, a couple of months ago, I made two videos covering the Hopeless Peaches drama. I tried keeping my coverage of the situation specific to her conflict with Creepshow art because I felt that the rest of the situation had already been thoroughly covered by other YouTubers. And there were many things in that video that I no longer stand behind now that I have more information and become more aware of the full situation. I kept putting off making this video for the longest while because I felt that there is a significantly higher level of care and research, specifically because of the sensitive factors involved in the situation. That was one of the critical flaws I felt I made in my last video on this topic. I hadn't looked into the broader context of the situation, and I ended up using a source that was not credible and even downright false. I, of course, am speaking about Prisonmate Luke and the videos that I used as a reference for my video which I want to state outright now that I no longer support. In fact, I condemn them and him for spreading such falsehoods and causing actual social and psychological harm towards Peaches. And for that, I genuinely want to apologize to Peaches for helping spread that narrative. Thus, I couldn't in good faith just leave my coverage of the drama at that because I need to correct myself, disprove false information, call for accountability to creators involved in the situation, including myself, and to show support to Peaches. Before I begin this video, I just want to thank you guys so much for getting me to 15k. I try my best to put out the highest quality content I can in my current situation and it makes me really happy to see my efforts paying off, basically. Lately, with what's been happening with a certain makeup guru and her momager, I've lost a little bit of the enjoyment from creating videos, and I've been doubting myself a lot, but I know that there's also so much more people supporting me and showing me a lot of love. <laughs> My biggest problem right now, however, is my housing situation. I recently moved to a new house and the leaseholder in my previous place still hasn't returned my deposit. They asked for a three weeks notice and it's been over a month and they still haven't sent it out because they need to deduct gas bills from it, even though I'm pretty sure my rent had bills included. So suffice to say, I'm probably going to have to say goodbye to that money, but I still need to pay for my current rent and food, and the tuition deadline is coming up soon, so... If you guys are interested in supporting me, I opened up a Ko-fi account. Please don't feel pressure to donate, especially if you're currently financially struggling yourself, but any amount, even a dollar, would really help. So first and foremost, let's talk about my current stance on Hopeless Peaches. In case you don't know who she is or what happened, Hopeless Peaches is a content creator with 75,000 subscribers now who does story time and art commentary videos. She had some bad blood with a few content creators and was allegedly talking shit and spreading lies about them behind their backs and this led to set creators quote unquote speaking out about their negative experiences with her. The biggest complaint I and many others had at the time was that she seemingly never acknowledged this behavior and avoided taking accountability for her actions. One of the main examples used for this, and I am also guilty of doing this, was the situation with Camila Cuevas where she allegedly spread hurtful lies and accused Camila of stealing her art and selling it without her permission. And according to these other creators, she has never apologized. I recently found out that this was blatantly untrue. Peaches has apologized to Camila years ago in private DMs, in an Amino post, and just recently yet again on Twitter. A total of three times. Aside from Camila, looking back in hindsight at the claims made by the other creators who had spoken out against her, they can all essentially be boiled down to petty and minor things like miscommunication, misinterpretation, and jumping to conclusions on intent which I stated as much in my last video on this topic and I still stand by that. I am in no means saying that Peaches did nothing wrong and that she is completely blameless. She isn't perfect and has definitely messed up a good handful of times and the main takeaways of my two videos on her was that she needed to confront the situation 
reflect and identify where she went wrong, acknowledge these mistakes, and then apologize. And you know what? That was exactly what she did. She posted an apology and an honest confession of her behavior back in early February, and this apology was much, much better than the one she had posted prior while the drama was at its peak. Although it's not up to me to decide whether the apology and confession is adequate or not, I felt that she had done exactly what I felt she should do, and for that, I want to say that I'm proud of her. I'm really, really proud of her for being able to rise above all the hate she was receiving, be the bigger person, and own up to her actions. She recognized that this needed to be about the people she had conflict with and delivered a genuine statement. Yes, she has done things in the past that hurt people, but what matters more to me personally is what she decides to do about it in the present. And I think with everything she was put through for so little, she has more than repented for them by now. Letting go of the drama is not letting Peaches get away with it because frankly, she suffered way more than she needed to and she has done the right thing by acknowledging it and apologizing. And I can personally see that she is also taking the appropriate steps to make positive changes. And yet, People are still under the mindset that she still needs to pay and suffer the consequences when realistically, how much more do you want this girl to suffer? She's still receiving disgusting messages and harassment and although the tides are now slowly turning in her favor, I personally know how it feels to receive messages like those when you're vulnerable. Despite the countless amount of support and positivity you receive, it's always those types of comments that stick out and affect you the most. No matter how sparse they may be, they still seem to overwhelm the positivity and it's not easy to just ignore them. Peaches makes it very clear on her Twitter post that she is still trying to find her balance and recover from what happened, and in my personal opinion, and professional opinion, the very last thing she needs is a bunch of anonymous idiots coming after her for god knows what. With that, let's get into some of the rumors that are still floating around. I'll start with the suicide baiting claims. As an extension to my second video, I actually made another video to speak specifically about depression and using social media platforms as a coping mechanism. In that video, I talked about the difference between suicidal intent and suicidal ideation. I also analyzed scholarly literature about the impact of social media on mental health in youths. Interestingly, one of the articles stated that social media use generally brought more benefits to youths than harm, as well as the act of vague booking. This is the point I want to focus on today. To reiterate, vague booking is vastly different than suicide baiting because where suicide baiting may be a cry for attention, thus lacking suicidal ideation and intent, vague booking is a cry for help. It has been found to be a predictor for suicidal ideation among individuals with pre-existing mental health problems. The behavior that Peaches was engaging in back then was not suicide baiting and it had never been suicide baiting. It was vague booking. By all means, Peaches had ideation and intent and even in my previous video, I was imploring her to seek professional help, although I admit I hadn't said it in the best way at the time. And I apologize for that because it is very, very concerning and should absolutely be taken as a serious claim. To give you guys an example of actual suicide baiting, look no further than my personal tormentor, Miss Lily Jean. For some context, Lily Jean recently made extremely concerning claims in an email where she was threatening suicide if YouTube did not take down a video published by a content creator called Reno. Later on, she went on an Instagram live and said this. But when you weaponize things such as suicide that never was going to happen, but rather was used as a point. Saying in her own words that there was never any suicidal intent or even ideation, but was rather used as a point. That, my friends, is suicide baiting. This 
is not suicide baiting. This is an individual speaking up about their struggles, which they should be able to do without fearing harassment. See the difference? And if any of you are suffering from depression or are finding it hard to cope with your current mental condition, I highly recommend watching my video on vague booking because I linked a lot of helpful resources and provided steps on how you can help yourself or others you may know work through these thoughts and feelings such as creating a safety plan which puts your coping tools together in a series of steps to prevent your next relapse. I also talk about the signs you should look out for to help you or others recognize a deterioration and what you should and shouldn't say when a person you know is experiencing this deterioration. This is where I turn to the creators I feel should also be taken accountable for this post-drama period. Prison Mate Luke not only were you the worst offender of spreading misinformation and lies and is arguably the cause of this whole debacle to begin with, you also committed one of the biggest mistakes in handling the situation. You dismissed Peach's cry for help as attention-seeking, and you further spread the narrative that this was a regular behavior for her. You diluted the seriousness of Peach's situation at the time and you basically gave the okay for people to keep attacking Peaches because, oh, this isn't real. In my opinion, you seemed desperate to milk the drama so you grasped at straws and threw things out randomly in the hopes that one of them would stick. You had no proof, you had no sources, you made things up on the spot but then put them on your channel as if it were fact. And when people criticize you for your poor work ethic, you instead try to dig up dirt on them to try and discredit them before they can expose you. Just like you did with Harley TBS and Just a Robot. Peaches couldn't defend herself from you at the time because her credibility was in question. But now, you're in the hot seat, Luke. And so far... You have been willfully ignoring the damage you caused and refusing to take any accountability for your mistakes. If Peaches was dragged through hell for doing the same thing, if not even less than what you're doing, then shouldn't you? Creepshow Art In my previous videos, I had taken the stance of supporting you because at that time, I felt that your feelings towards Peaches was valid. Your video still contained false information about her maliciously spreading rumors about you and claiming that Peaches never apologized to Camila, but at the same time, neither of you had been in contact with each other. You took hearsay as fact and I agreed with Peaches even back then that you should have opened a direct line of communication and worked this out in private. Looking back now, however, you still jump to a lot of conclusions from vague tweets and it isn't fair to say that she is targeting you specifically when you don't even know for sure. However, at that time, Peaches hadn't apologized to you and that's why I personally felt you were justified in feeling upset in that video. People have said you were sympathy baiting but I want to give you the benefit of the doubt in saying that that was how you genuinely felt and I think that everyone is entitled to their own feelings. I can justify your actions and words in that first video. But that second video? That video didn't need to happen at all. When I first watched it, I swear I got deja vu. It was nearly word for word the exact same video and arguments as the first video. There was no new evidence or information being put forward, it was just a rehashing of the previous video that seemed like a knee-jerk reaction to the tide suddenly shifting in Peach's favor. The only thing it did was revitalize the drama when it was already over because in that video you claimed that Peach's still had not apologized to you or Camila, or Omnia, or Kai Weiss, and that is all blatantly false because Peach's apology came out days before your video did. I realize that you're not on Twitter anymore, but the fact that you put that video out evidently without doing your research to find out any updates that might have caused the sudden shift made you look ignorant and inflammatory. 
it put you on the same level as prison mate Luke. Although at the very least you did talk to Peaches and work things out in private, I think this time it's you who owes Peaches an apology. You made some very false, misleading claims and although you condemned harassment towards Peaches on your Instagram story, you still have to take accountability for your claims and just like I asked of Peaches, own up to them. I think you have a bigger part to play in actually calling the hate given your larger audience and therefore wider influence. But of course, those are just my two cents about this whole thing. And obviously nobody is obligated to do what I say, especially because I don't even have... Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm such a small creator, why does anyone care what I think? But with this, I officially consider the drama dead and buried. Please go and show Hopeless Peaches some love and support. She is an incredibly talented artist and I genuinely believe that she deserves so much better than this. And with that, that is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. You guys are all so amazing and supportive. I wouldn't have kept going with this channel if it weren't for you. That being said though, this is going to be my last video on drama commentary. I just want to step back and do my own original content from now on, like my redesign videos, singing covers, some animatics maybe, and I already have a new series planned that I think you guys will really enjoy too. Recently, I put up a poll on my Discord server on what I should call my fans, and the server has decided that my fans will henceforth be known as Calimaris. And if you don't like that, then I'm sorry, but you should have been in my Discord server. Anyway, please follow me on all my social media, check out my comic, because that would make me really happy. Links are all in the description, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!